Hi, Andrea here. Let's do a quick review on this dental cleaning kit tool. They call it a kit because it did come with your own mouth mirror and it did come with a tongue cleaner, which are all very good quality, by the way. And it did come with a bunch of different tips to put on the end here, okay? But let me first say, okay, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. I do not recommend this for non-dental professionals, okay? Because you can hurt yourself. Even me as a dental professional, when I was using it, my teeth are still sensitive, okay? They truly, truly are. Does it work? Yes, it takes away plaque, stain, other things, but this is why dental professionals go to school to learn how to do it safely because you know what else this can also do? It can definitely take away your enamel. And once enamel is cleaned away, taken away, you cannot get it back. It can damage all of your gums around the teeth if you're not careful. If you like slip a little bit, it can damage it because this tip moves. It does vibrate. It's nails on a chalkboard type sound as well. Even at the lowest setting, which I'm going to show all of you, ooh, it's dangerous. Like I practiced on my mouth because how can I do a review without trying it? And my teeth are still sensitive. Did it get the stain off? Yes, it did. But guess what, you guys? So can proper toothbrushing, so can teeth whitening and getting your teeth cleaned by a dental professional. It's just better to get your teeth cleaned by a dental professional. Don't buy into the marketing a dental cleaning kit no you can hurt yourself with this and then you're going to run crying to your dental professional and say my teeth are so sensitive they hurt why do my teeth look different because you probably took off most of your enamel and they're thinner so advise with caution okay do not use it if you're a regular person dental professionals this might be a good adjunct to maybe take away a quick stain from somebody's tooth without setting up your whole, you know, toolkit, but do not use it if you're not a dental professional. I have another video where I talk to dental professionals on how to, how to use it safely because it's a dangerous tool. I'm shocked they can sell this, but I'm gonna show you guys how it works. So you turn it on. When I, and you have to put the tip in by the way. So it comes with different tips which I can show you guys. Sorry, I'm having trouble opening it. So it comes with about four different tips, which is good. But again, I don't want you guys using these different tips, okay? So you do have to put the tip on. Oh, oh, that scared me. See, you guys, clearly I turned it on and I shouldn't have. So make sure it's off when you go to, I'm like still scared. Make sure it's off before you put the tip on or off. So you do have to loosen it, you guys, okay? So it looks like this. You put the tip on, but you need to tighten it with this wrench. If you don't, you think it's tight, but then you go to use it, you're gonna choke because this is gonna fall off. You must tighten it with this wrench until you can't tighten it anymore, okay? You don't have to turn it or anything. It's just like a tighten mechanism and then you're set to go. So you turn it on. It doesn't move until it touches something. So when I was using the wrench to take off the tip, it started moving and I got scared because, oh, it's actually vibrating now. So it can clearly tell I'm putting something towards it. It's crazy, you guys. It's dangerous. It like, and it's nails on a chalkboard. So let me show you. I'm going to do it on my teeth, okay? So I'm going to come up super close. I'm, I have a mirror here that I'm just kind of using, okay? So have it on the lowest setting and you'll see what I'm talking about. So it doesn't start working until you touch it to the tooth, okay? So I'm just gonna show you on a front tooth. Sorry if I look funny, but I'd like to show you guys, okay? And I'm just looking in the mirror, okay? See that? So can you guys hear that? Nails on a chalkboard, right? Yeah, but that's how it works. All right, yeah. So I'm being extremely careful, okay, because I did clean my teeth earlier with this. I did take away stain that I did see that was starting to form. It does work, you guys. I'm not going to lie, but you have to be so careful. And what ends up happening is you end up taking away your tooth, your enamel with the stain. So this is not 
meant to be used for the non-dental professional. You're going to hurt yourself. You're going to take the enamel away. Your teeth are going to be sensitive. And then you're going to wonder why. And we're going to wonder, your dental professional, what happened. So do not buy this, you guys. Do not buy this. I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. Unfortunately, after you watch the video is you're probably thinking, oh my God, I can handle it. I'm going to buy it because Andrea just said it works. But you guys, it's going to hurt your teeth, okay? Please don't buy it. Go to your dental hygienist to have your teeth cleaned, okay? So much better, so much safer. You don't have to worry because if you cause damage to the gum and or your tooth, it's not just going to grow back. The damage is permanent. I'm shocked they're allowed to sell this, okay? I'm going to leave the link though down below for dental professionals only if you're curious about this and want to check it out and maybe tell your patients not to purchase it. But it might be good for dental professionals for let's say there's some ortho cement. Um, this would be good to take that, that off easily and effectively. If a filling has an overhang and you're experienced um, as a restorative hygienist to kind of smooth the, the um, overhangs, I can see this being extremely helpful, but I would also use it with a lot of water. Spray the water in there and it's like nails on a chalkboard. Your patient isn't going to like it. Again, though, you guys, for regular people out there, not dental professionals, do not buy this. You're going to hurt yourself. If you bought it, take it back. Do not use it or use it for cleaning something, but not your mouth. Um, cleaning hard to reach areas in your shower. I don't know. Cleaning. I can't think of anything, but this is a dangerous, insane tool. Okay. Be careful with it. If you have any questions, let me know for dental professionals. I'm going to leave the link down below if you're curious about it, but do not buy it. No, it's scary. Okay. You guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.